What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Davies, and I'm back with another video. And yeah, I know y'all probably saying, he look crazy as hell. Well, it is what it is. Uh, see, I'm getting my my Snoop on, my, my um, show enough phone, but um, trying to get my my wig, my naps, not naps, but y'all see what the heck going on, trying to get my, uh, supposed to get my hair braided uh, for my birthday, those of you who don't know, is every season, big baby, yeah, my birthday is Tuesday, and I'm trying not to bring it in looking like the color purple. One of my favorite movies, but that's besides the point. So, anywho, um, I decided to pop out my rabbit hole real quick and uh, come up to the store and uh, put in a couple of numbers for a good friend of mine and myself trying to get that birthday cheddar cheddar. Uh, and just want to get a few things off my chest. Uh, first of all, Thank you guys. Uh, if you're coming back to the channel, I appreciate it. Um, see my subscribers are going up and I hope they keep going up. And if you are new to the channel, uh, please take a brief second to hit that subscribe button. Feel free to like, comment, share, and turn on that post notification bell. So every time I drop a video, you will be notified. Uh, with that being said, um, just glad to be alive, man. A uh, lot of stuff going on, but trying to keep it on a positive note. Um, just glad to see another birthday. I will be turning 51 for those of you who don't know, but I don't feel 50 except when this cold Michigan weather be kicking my hindquarters. Um, damn. I'm up here on 8 Mile at one of my uh, other favorite spots. And I'll flip it around so you can see what I'm talking about. Because the other store, they don't open till a little later. And I don't feel like sitting around waiting all day. But I still love them. But this is where I'm at. And my camera is not doing... Oh, because I'm hitting... Ha ha. Yes, yeah, sir. I know everybody in this store... Uh, damn near everybody but yeah one of my favorite um hangout spots not hangout spots but you know place that i feel comfortable going to in the hood at least and i'm gonna flip around so you can see what i see i don't know what the hell happened up here look like a car accident which is gonna nice segue into what i'm about to say but i'm gonna keep it short and sweet but and i'm gonna zoom in i don't know if you know if you guys can see it but uh there's a crap load of grass. Uh, Lord, have mercy. So, buddy, not a crap load of grass, but glass in the street. It literally looked like somebody just came out here with a uh, a salt uh, sprinkler or whatever. You know, the salt truck. You know what the hell I'm saying. And uh, sprinkled broken glass all over the place, which segues into what I'm about to talk about. And I'll keep it short, brief, and sweet. I'm glad that it wasn't. Uh, what it could have been. Uh, my mom was in a car accident uh, last Wednesday. She was on her way to the uh, beauty salon to get her hair and nails done, which she often does. And uh, some jackrabbit, because I'm trying to keep it together, some jackrabbit was speeding down the street and she said she noticed him and she had to swerve because if not, if he had to hit her, she would have hit the vehicle in front of her. So in her swerving to keep from being rear-ended by this fool, she crashed into one of those um, black plastic dumpsters that people have in front of their house. And long story short, it knocked off her side view mirror and she has some um, front-end damage to her vehicle. She says she's okay. I've asked her 50 million times, are you okay? I'm okay, I'm okay, because I said I have no problem. I will pick you up, put you over my shoulder, and take you to the hospital myself. But she says she's okay, so okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, she called the insurance company, and they said that since 
Uh, they find her not to be at fault that they will waive the deductible. Thank you, Jesus, and take care of it. So she has to go in uh, around the end of this month because I guess the body shop at the dealership, or whatever, is uh, filled up right now. But they will get on that and hopefully make it look like it never happened. But I'm glad that she's okay. And I wish people would just slow the hell down and stop doing stupid ish. Um, and back on a positive note, like I said, uh, my B day is coming up. I'm just praying that the uh, somebody pulling up looking. Why is he looking at the camera? Don't worry about it. Mind your beeswax. Um, they said it's going to be close to 60 on my birthday. So I hope. I pray that that is so because I tell people Michigan is one of them states where it'd be 80 degrees today and 20 degrees tomorrow. And sometimes it'd be 80 degrees today and 20 degrees later on. So with that being said, I'm about to pop in here, play a couple of numbers and uh, see what else I can get into before I get this situation uh, taken care of. And there's... Um, Another restaurant that I will be doing a few rewind restaurant restaurant that I will be doing a food review on, but I'm a zip my lips as I tell my baby girl until I'm actually there. So with that being said, I'm gonna pop in here, play a few numbers, and then get back into my vehicle because it looked like the hood then woke up and every time I turn my head somebody's staring in my face so before any shenanigans take place i'm gonna pop in here and i will see you guys in the next clip Ooh. and i'm back um i decided to stop up here at one of my favorite slash not so favorite stores because there's always some shenanigans going on y'all call it walmart i call it wally mart um, I'm gonna treat this like a, a search and rescue mission. Try to be in and out. Um, this is the Walmart that I met. A lot of uh, activity going on in the parking lot, as per usual. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna pop in here and get a few items that's been on my um wish list grocery list um i'm trying to get back into eating healthy uh been eating a lot of salads and carrots and stuff like that but i know that's not gonna see my stomach is grumbling already that's not always gonna um fill my belly i'm gonna go in here and get some breakfast food and of course you know got a mask up because i'm not trying to catch the heebie-jeebies no 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 so i'm gonna pop in here if I see anything out of the ordinary, I might uh, start recording. But like I said, I'm just trying to get in and get out because I don't want no stuff. Don't be no stuff. Won't be no stuff. So I'll catch y'all in the next clip. And I'm back, y'all. Always something at Walmart. Tell me if this has ever happened to you guys. So I'm standing there in line, minding my own business, as per usual. And there's this lady in front of me. It was funny. She actually looked like Sarah Palin. But that's besides the point. She was cool. And she didn't have too many items. And I was looking for the stick to separate your order from the next person's. There was no stick. So I said, I'm just going to wait until uh, most of her items are off the conveyor belt. Before I put my stuff up there. And keep in mind, I didn't have much either. So basically, I waited till the lady got all her stuff off the uh, conveyor belt and it's in her basket. And I put my stuff up there. And for whatever reason, the lady didn't cut the belt off because it kept running. So my stuff went all the way up to the edge. And she was so wrapped up in a conversation with Sarah Palin that she didn't notice me putting the stuff on the conveyor belt. And she looks up at Sarah and she's like, is this yours? And I said, no, it's mine. And she said, okay. And then she's finishing up the transaction with Sarah. And she looks back at me like the horse's side eye. And then mysteriously, she just put her hand down and pulls out the bar that's normally resting up there. 
and puts it on the conveyor belt. And I said to myself, seriously, and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up because, like I said, I was trying to be in and out, and I didn't get too many items, but like I said, I can show you better than I can tell you. So, I got some Vittles, my favorite strawberry, haagen -Dazs. Yum, 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 yum. I got, uh, yeah, get out there. These, I love them. The uh, pizza calzones, you know, it's not restaurant quality, but then again, it's better than some pizza uh, pockets I've had. Moving right along, because I don't feel like taking this out the bag. I got the, uh, I believe that's the, yep, yes, sir, Jimmy Dean uh, pancakes, sausage on the stick combination. I got blueberry because I like blueberries. And the troublemaker of the show are these mango chunks. I thought they were pineapples, but clearly says mango chunks. So anywho, as you can see, there's a nice barcode right here. Nothing over there. But yeah, um, there's a barcode right there. And um, put that back in the bag. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, so that's the last item she scanned. Do you know it took her about 10 minutes to ring up those mangoes? And I'm standing there. <laughs> And I was about to say, if it doesn't scan, you can just set it to the side. And she was like, no, I'll get it. And she had to punch in the item number and yada, yada, yada. And then she said, well, at least you're not doing like some people. They say, well, you almost want me to have it for free because it's not ringing up. And I told her, oh, no, I don't do that. I said, I worked in customer service and I worked in security. And I tell people, uh, nothing is free unless the manager say you can have it. Other than that, you got to pay for that. So she finally gets the ring up. And uh, she gave me my receipt. And I was just like, thank you, Jesus. Let me get out of here. And as I was walking to the door, there were uh, a lot of people standing there, you know, where the people check your uh, receipt or whatever. Some little kid, I guess, I think might have tripped because she was telling them to tie their shoelaces. And people just standing behind them like they waiting for this kid to tie their shoelaces so they can get their ticket checks. I'm like, ain't nobody telling me I, I can't proceed. So I just said, excuse me, excuse me. And I walked on around and I walked on out to the vehicle. So always something going on at Wally World, but I'm glad that I was able to uh, get in and out of there and, yep, keep my head on the swivel. Because when I came out, there were no cars parked anywhere next to me. And when I come back, see, I'm not telling any stories. What do we have here? Bam. Those people pulled up next to the side of me. It's a free country. And that person pulled up behind me. So I'm like, what freaking, I just, uh, there I am. I just try to park away from people because, you know, some people like to fling their car doors open and some people like to get out and mean mug you and it's really not that serious. So with that being said, I done got my vittles. I'm about to pop back in my rabbit hole and hopefully soon later on this day, I can uh, get this attended to and then I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, and I'm back. Uh, thank you for sticking around to make it to the end of the video. And as you can see, yep, finally got my wig done. Uh, friend came through and uh, made me look like myself again. Thank you much, Jacinta. I appreciate you. Uh, so now, I take some bottles back to the store. So I could drop a few more numbers because unfortunately, none of the ones I played came out this morning. So thank God for me and Dan evening. So I'm going to go in here, play a few more numbers, and hopefully I can get some birthday. So this is pretty much the end of the vlog for the day. Uh, once again, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for checking me out. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe, smash that like button. 
feel free to comment and share and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that every time I drop a video you will be notified and for those of you that aren't new to the channel and came back and or stayed to the end of the video thank you I love you guys and I'm gonna go in here and do what I gotta do because this parking lot is pulling up filling up fast goodness I'm back at my other watering hole yes sir staff in here cool as hell every once in a while you get some knuckleheads in there but uh you know they kick them out and tell them to kick rocks so with that being said before any shenanigans jump off on my screen thank y'all for uh sticking around and taking this little trip with me uh transformation throughout my day so uh love you guys appreciate you much and until next time all i gotta say is peace